all right. Easy, easy. You busy, Arthur? Not too busy. Why? I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... said it was really... freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north. Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up. The hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Oh, big place, right? your binoculars. Oh, there's a 
Pretty big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. This could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow, and... I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees? I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. The coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey! Keep it down. I hear voices. Hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Just stay quiet. Maybe use Hunter Pig this time once, Mal. Where you been now, noob? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I has gone but ten minutes I was. I can hardly gag all the now day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam! You shut your gopher, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. You need to pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What we doing, Javier? Okay. Take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Defending that barn, let's check in there first. Has to be under here. There's no place else that could store it. Give me a hand here.
have here. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Sounds good. Hey, boy. Yeah. I think you should get out of here, ma'am. Come on, pal.
Okay, there. Five minutes without a fan badgering me? Hey. Ah, oh, ah. Oh, God. <sighs> Hello, chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Ah. Oh, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too. Arthur. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Huh. So, you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together, like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I'll fish a little. You do? Well, in that case... Send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe I shall. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear...
gotta help me out here, mister. Can you? Please. I've been on the run for days now. Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. Oh, oh, yes, yes, perfect. Ah, thank you. I, I got no money to give you, but I think I might got something even better. Well, some drunk's been hoarding his money in this little place south of Rhodes down by the river. A lot of money and very drunk. At least that's what they say. Oh, yeah? Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Um, I don't just a hunch. It's up to you, friend. Yeah.
It's me. Easy now. Oh, hey, Arthur. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? <laughs> because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> them sons of bitches think they're mean. <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Right, follow me. Get! Yeah. How far is this place? Bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. As from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. It's all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that. Suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. You saw me in action in those tobacco fields. That worked out all right. I guess you could say that. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid, we got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope, didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. 
Davy was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Hogs bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled me, torn me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. Man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head, but you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. All right. That'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right. It's going to be off the road up ahead. Oh, here, Morgan. deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. one of them outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. give you and your oh. daddy five seconds to get the hell off my property boy uh, look we don't want no trouble we just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse of lawmen headed this way there were a dozen of them coming up east what where right here it's up Arthur. here come the rest of them did to your pals here. Okay, okay, I give up. Don't shoot. I ain't armed. Tell us where you stash your money and we'll let you live. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. I know, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. You know what? Just get the hell out of here, and don't look back. So, here we are. Got some good stuff. <sighs> Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? Told you we'd take him, no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Took this up all by myself. A proper lit. This is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need to lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. 
never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> There's gotta be other places out there like this. Hey, fella. been bitten by a snake. <laughs> I need medicine. Oh, 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 you need to suck the venom out. Oh. Drink Please, this. Sir. It'll help. I don't want... Is that medicine? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh. oh you one, mister. Got that right. Hopefully, I could repay you someday. Uh, now, I gotta get out of here. Uh, don't uh, much like it. Uh, uh, out here, no more. Uh... Just stay the hell away from snakes, all right? Okay then. Done deal.
Come on now, boy. You're looking to catch something in these woods? I have everything you need. What? Occasion. Oh, yeah, oh, it is yeah. important that we reestablish sanity and supremacy before it is too late. Our numbers are waning thanks to the fools in Congress <laughs> and their ludicrous ideas. Hail! But today, we grow once yeah. more yeah. 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 as we yeah. anoint a new brother. Oh, yeah! Into our it. sacred cause. Yeah. Please step yeah. forward and kneel. Right. <laughs> Do you choose to accept the light? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Come on. Yeah. Let here we go. The eternal right. light yeah. shall yeah. be.
all you bastards. Damn, that's you. All right. I'm keeping you, I'm afraid.
<laughs> wow. Sorry, but <laughs> you're mine. This could work. Okay. Look at you. Okay. Good to meet you. Whoa, easy. Catch your breath, boy.
What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. How much you can get anything? There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up then. Let's go. Hey, boy. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. So, where are we headed? Back up to the Heartlands. Okay. Feels like there's been so much noise and chaos recently. Do you mind if we just rode and enjoyed the silence for once? I need to clear my mind. Sure, fine by me. Not far now. Let's cut up this way. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Skin and butcher it. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out.
Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. No. Look. Bison. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. All right. Lead the way. Been dead a couple of days, at least. <laughs> Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Look, another dead bison to our left there. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher, see if we spot anything. What a damn waste. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? Arthur, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <laughs> it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, please. Don't kill me. I'm begging you. 
All right, I'll get out of here. Oh, just don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. That's quality. doing business with you. Okay then.
Hello, Arthur. here, John. Same way we end up anywhere. By annoying the wrong people. No, I mean us. This situation. Look. I know I ain't acted right to you and the boy. Guess I can't make you want something you don't. You ain't like that. I think that's simple. Not this life. I know. God. <sighs> Hello, Arthur. Arthur! Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Hey! 
business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Hello, Alden. Hello, Joe Zah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, Ask for my colleague there, feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go. This way. As can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. This is the spot. Oh, 
Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Well, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. Hey! Hello! I hope you don't mind my singing. Not at all. I'm preparing for It's a free country. <laughs> Did you say a show? <laughs> it's a small benefit. It's black water. Just... Mrs. Chester Damson. <laughs> I flatter. <laughs> Oh, no, stop the coach, my good man! Stop the coach! Whoa! Miss Dempsey, why did you stop singing? The New York audience, they were rather yeah. cruel. New Yorkers are prigs and fools who believe Westerners don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree more. Would, could, could you? It's, it's such a small show, but... Would you sing something for me? I, I'm looking for a mezzo soprano. No. Well, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough. But Mrs. Damson, magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, jolly good. Go see Alden from time to time. 
See you soon, Arthur. Oh good, a new patron. Welcome, welcome. If you need bait, I got it. Weapons, I got it. Deeds, I got it. You just better have the right price for me. Got it? You better know how to use that. Don't ask me where I got that. Folks come to me for crafty trinkets and such. You got the right ingredients, I can I'm take a look. I know how that goes. Good then. Just trying to make it through another day. Mm -hmm. You will love that, I swear. Really, you won't regret it. Let me know if you have anything you want to think of only if get you rid of. To hide your face. None of them good. Not a word to him. Time right. to go, boy. What are you doing? Prepping for a robbery. I've had a good run of luck recently. Okay. Robbed a house up in Roanoke Ridge. Robbed a couple of drunken soldiers out near the swamps. <laughs> and what are you about to do? A stage. <clears throat> well, good luck. Well, do you want to come with me? Now, I was going to ask Sean, but he's too much of a hothead. What's the opportunity? A bank stage, and without much security. This feller was telling me about it a couple of nights ago when we was drinking. It's gonna be coming right through, and the bank reckons the cost of security ain't worth the risk. Now, there'll be a couple guys, but nothing too serious, and lots of money. Easy money. 
Well, that's always the dream of every thief. Easy money. Well, like I was saying, my luck is in now, Art. Well, then, why not? Who you taking? I think we need a girl. See, I got a plan in mind. Well, in that case... Tilly, you free? We got some work. Sure. What kind of work? Stagecoach. Sounds good. Let's do it. All right, come on. Let's mount up. Okay, follow me. There's a good spot where we should be able to cut it off northwest of Dewberry Creek. And uh, you're certain this information sound, Bill? After that mess with the Cornwall stage, I want to make sure we're not riding into another army of guards. Yes, I'm certain. So what's the plan? I was thinking a little womanly distraction. I figured that much. But what's the story? Route, number of guards, you know, important details? Just do exactly what I say and you'll be fine, all right? How about we do exactly what Tilly says? I'd feel a lot safer. Because I've done all the groundwork on this. Next time she brings in a lead of her own, we'll all bow down, I promise. I'll remember you said that. You follow orders, stay alive. That's what they used to tell me in the army. They kicked you out of the army. They did not. I beg to differ, Marion. Have you been going through my things? You shouldn't have left it out. Can you believe this, Morgan? I don't trust her any more than I trust that Kieran boy. I never had. Running with them foreman boys all them years. She could turn on us any minute. Just shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. You have no damn clue. <laughs> All right, just take it easy, you two. Get your minds on what matters so we do this right. Passing you. Go on! Get! Hold! So the stage should be coming from over there. What you want me to do? Well, you just act dumb and silly and get the thing stopped. You know, like you do. And what you mean by that? Oh, come on, don't get all precious and stuck up on me now. I don't like your manners, Mr. Williamson. In fact, I think you're an obnoxious idiot. What'd you say to me? I didn't say enough to you, you useless half-man. Half-man? Half, man, what does that even mean? Do you two stop arguing? He started it. Here's a goddamn stagecoach. We doing this? Yes. Come on, both of you, follow me. What's the plan? There's been a change of plan. Yes, you act dumb and get them
I'm gonna blow it open. Stand back. Didn't we? Yeah, after chasing it all over New Hanover, but God knows who watched. Got it. Right. Let's split up, get the hell out of here. Okay, but you owe me my cut. Don't think I'll forget. I know, I know. Go on. I'll see you back at camp. Help a blind man. Okay, here you are. You keep hidden all that matters, sir. Maybe even from yourself. All right, friend. William. Arthur, you familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly. And nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. Come on, pal.
<laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. All this help, you deserve something in return. Well, this is for your horse, actually. Save it for bad injuries. Heaven forbid your horse is in trouble. You'll be glad you had it. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. Come on now, boy. What? 